My name is Lance Bishop. I'm a farmer in rural Nova Scotia. We call this place Wild Mountain Farm. I grew up here with my family, living close to nature. We produce most of our own food, always had a big garden, animals for our meat, milk, and eggs, catching hair and fish in the summer on the beach beside our farm. How we farm is guided by two ideas, treat the animals with respect and keep them according to their nature. When I was five years old, my older brother gave me his bow. I make my own arrows now, which are precise and accurate, but back then, there were no good arrows. I used tree branches, old fishing poles, even pieces of a TV antenna. They didn't fly very well, but because I loved the bow so much and used it all the time, I became an accurate shot anyway. One day my dad bought me a pony. No one showed me how to ride her. I'm not even sure she was ever trained for riding. I had trouble getting her to go forward, and when she did, I was all the time getting bucked off. But in my 20s, I ran a forestry business, using draft horses to pull out the logs. I learned a lot about horses during those years, and I learned how to ride. In my 30s, I realized I should do something just for fun again. I reflected on my childhood shooting the bow, and on my dream to shoot the bow from a horse. One day I googled horseback archery to see if it was the thing people were doing. Something clicked in me in that moment. I started shooting again, and I bought a nice quarter horse mare named Chloe. Then I really stepped out of my routine. I started traveling to take in lessons, first in California, and then in Ottawa. And this spring, I even traveled to Hungary, my first time off this continent. In one way, this is a story about my awakening my passion for what I've always loved. But now, also, it's a story about my passion inspiring others. I formed a training club called Sea Winds Horse Archers with a half dozen students who share my interest in the bow and the horse. We will host a horse archery training camp followed by Eastern Canada's first horseback archery competition. When I'm on my horse and shooting arrows, I feel present. I'm not thinking about the past and I'm not worrying about the future. Just finding my rhythm with the run of my horse and making my shots. After the camp, I have no idea where this is going. I don't think it's going away anytime soon. And only one thing is certain. I now have a much better idea of why it's important to follow one's bliss. In doing so, disconnected things in the world start to come together as though life was a plan all along.